And so, hey everyone. Uh, no, this title is not clickbait. It is, it is real. <laughs> and also it is something officially from Sony for the PSP console. And I mean with that the um, GPS module that goes alongside with the uh, Go Explore disc here. And this came to the market in 2008 here in Germany and there were maps available for Germany, Austria and Switzerland. But also other maps were available like Great Britain, uh, Ireland, Italy, Portugal, Belgium, uh, Netherlands, Sweden and yes also Japan was available. <laughs> And there are also uh, other maps available, uh, but those maps here are just for an example here. Sadly, there are no uh, maps available for the American uh, countries like the USA, Canada, Mexico, etc. Because the GPS module was only available here in Europe or in Japan. For the American market, it was announced, but uh, yeah. And the GPS module and the Go Explore discs were available for around 120 euros here. And this was, yeah, it was nearly the same prices as other navigation systems. But with that solution, you also need a PSP console. And there were also the option that you could also download other maps to your PSP console via the PlayStation Store. But sadly, I can't show you this because the PlayStation Store for the PSP console is no longer existing. And as of right now, the uh, GPS module is... It is not hard to find, but it is a bit tricky to find it. But here in Germany, when you find it, it's around 20 to 30 euros here. Yes, but my module, I have to buy it from Spain because at the time I wanted to buy it, it was the cheapest option with uh, 15 euros or, or something. With free shipping, of course. <laughs> okay, but some of you are probably asking now, does this still work? And this is a good question because many of the online services uh, were shut down by Sony for the PSP, so this is a good question, but surprisingly, this function, it still works. Yes, you can still navigate you with the PSP console and the GPS module here. I even went to the outside for you. <laughs> but the program here, it warns that uh, some of the map data is being stored on, the, on your uh, memory stick. So that there's a little bit more performance when loading the map. And also there's not the amount of access needed for the uh, UMD disk here that drains your battery down. But I just copied the entire UMD to my PSP console, so this isn't really a problem for me. Well, but this with the battery and my PSP console, this is a chapter for itself. Uh, it is pretty old in it and uh, yeah, it needs some replacing here. And at home, uh, when testing it, uh, it didn't work. But this is due to that the uh, sinking strength of the uh, GPS module here is very uh, weak here. So it has difficulties going to these uh, thick walls here. So that uh, GPS signal is nearly impossible to get indoors. But going outside here and walking here, uh, I have a satellite here at the top uh, in the sky that can see my GPS location. But let me say something. It is pretty unusual walking with a PSP around and especially with the GPS module here at the top. Well, other people walk around with their smartphones. I walk here with the PSP console. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but now that we have a signal here, well, I can navigate to any place here in town. My brother, which was also filming for me, and wanted that we ha could uh, walk to the uh, fire department here. And at our position, uh, it was nearby here, so we can walk here. And I could fill in the address, no problem. And, and so the route can start. And even the program talks to you. But what I didn't mention until now, the map data stored on this disk is from 2008. So uh, yeah, it is pretty old by now. <laughs> but either it was my fault or not, because um, the system has told us that we should walk or go uh, left, but uh, we moved to right because it 
Yeah, this was the right route then. <laughs> and then the program did told us nothing. Because I think it thought that we are creating a new off-road road here in town. <laughs> but when we went back to a official road for this uh, system here, and the GPS signal was pretty quick here and so we have our location here. But this was only for a short amount of time because uh, we went to a, uh, yeah, a little park here in town and the system doesn't have any GPS signal here then. Because it was still thinking that we are driving a car. And then we went back to the street and the signal was pretty quick uh, back there. But uh, we went on our own line to the fire department because it was like 50 meters away. But the system thought that we are driving backwards to it. Well, of course I'm driving always uh, reverse in the uh, main street. So be a little bit more futuristic here. Yeah, drive uh, reverse in the main street. <laughs> and at the end we were there at the fire department. And I didn't want to start a new route on the PSP because the battery life on my PSP was nearly at the end. Okay, you can not really say something really about the uh, battery eaten up uh, at that because how old this battery is in it in my uh, PSP here. But what I can say you when I started this trip and my battery was at around 40% and when we arrived the battery life was at about 20% then. But overall I'm very impressed that this is functional. I would love to uh, show you other trips here and also uh, testing this module when, when you are driving a car if the navigation is working. But uh, truth be told and I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit behind with this video here writing the script and everything. So uh, yeah I have to face this out. <laughs> yeah, and also uh, yesterday I, I needed to assemble this uh, MMU3 here that I got here now. Uh, I've assembled it uh, through midnight so um, yeah that's that. Uh, when you want to see a review about it and write it in the comments if you are interested in a review of this uh, MMU3 here. <laughs> well this is something nice for my Prusa Mark 4S here. That's a package here still here. I've, uh, I've bought the uh, kit version here. Of course I've bought the kit version here. But where are the Haribo beers? Schröder? But there's one question still remaining. Why does a module like this exist? And do are some games existing for that are using this function of the GPS module here? Well, Sony wanted the PSP to be a like a multimedia device. That's why the reason there are UMD movies available and also UMD music are available. And also with the PSP 2000 and 3000 models you have a composite or component output. And it was 2008 when this arrived the GPS module and smartphones they are existing yeah, at the time but neither of those have a GPS module inside it. So yeah. <laughs> And Sony saw that other navigation systems were rising in uh, popularity so Sony went ahead and made a GPS module for the PSP here. But sadly pricing was yeah it, it was a chapter for itself because uh, there were also a kit available which included the GPS module, the Go Explore disc, the PSP console and also a uh, mount for your car but this kit set you back about 300 euros. Other navigation systems were also a little bit in the same price but as I said before there were also some available for 120 which were the same prices as the GPS module and also the software here. But Sony also wanted to give some developers new ways for impressive uh, game innovations by this GPS module here. As example in uh, Metal Gear Solid for the PSP there were also an option with a GPS recruitment, uh, so yeah, there's that. But sadly, uh, the uh, games that are existing that support the GPS module 
and you can count it at the fork. <laughs> oh well, but the home group community made use of it. There is a geocoaching app available for PSP homebrew, so uh, yeah, there's that. <laughs> but, and this is a big but, <laughs> and Sony have kind of like uh, laid down the foundation for their uh, new uh, portable console that has also a GPS module built in. The PS Vita in a 3G model has a GPS module built in. But uh, sadly this was never really used because the GPS chip inside it was only available for the 3G version. So uh, the normal Wi-Fi PlayStation Vita uh, didn't have this in it. Okay, but what do I think about the GPS module here for the PSP? Well, as cool as it is uh, navigating around with, these, uh, with this construction here, and but um, sadly because of the map data it is really old, well Google Maps is your best friend still. <laughs> well okay, but you can't really uh, compare those two systems because there's a 17 year difference uh, between them. So uh, yeah, there's that. <laughs> but I would get a really big kick if you, if someone plans a trip for their vacation and playing this trip with the GPS module and the PlayStation Portable here. So uh, yeah, that would be really awesome. <laughs> Well, but I'm really impressed that this function is still working after 17 years. But what do you think? And if you really like this module or this function, and you can show it by leaving a like here or also subscribe to this channel here. And well, I think I said everything about this uh, module here. Uh, if I forgot something, I can still make a short video about it. And well, then I can say it was for me and we see us. <laughs>